Floodesk is getting rid of their unlimited plan. Kit just bumped people off their starter plan. And Mailer Lite's just kind of chilling over here in the corner. If you're feeling a little confused about which platforms to stick with or switch to, let's make sense of what's happening and what it means for you. If you haven't heard, Floodesk is getting rid of their unlimited plan in about three months. We're in, we're just starting to scrape mid-September and on November 28th, their unlimited plan is going away. Switching to a tiered format, meaning every time your subscribers increase by X number, I don't know exactly what their tiers look like yet, but every time your subscribers increase, so will how much you have to pay them. A lot of companies use this plan. It's not an uncommon situation, but Floodesk has been using their unlimited plan for since they started. So it's kind of a big shift for them. Nice thing is that if you sign up now before they get rid of their unlimited plan, you can still lock it in. And I have to throw out there that if you use my affiliate link, delanasimmons.com slash Floodesk, you can actually get 50% off of your first year, which means that for your first year, you'll only be paying $19 a month. That's for unlimited subscribers and all of their features for email marketing. They do have upgrades for checkout pages and things like that, but this would just, so, so this would just be for the email marketing plan. I'll also, of course, have it linked in the description. On their unlimited email marketing plan, you get unlimited subscribers, unlimited email sends, you get gorgeous drag and drop email templates, super simple automations. They do have options to add on checkout pages and things like that if you're looking for a little bit more. Their unlimited plan as it stands right now, only includes the email subscribers and email marketing aspect of Flowdesk. A feature that I know is always missing from Flowdesk is something that they just added link actions or link triggers. So they've just added this feature recently where you can add links to your emails. And when somebody clicks on that link, it can set off another series of actions. Super great feature if you want to tag people who clicked on a certain link or just start another email sequence or something like that after somebody clicks on something. It's a great feature to have and it's amazing that Flowdesk has added this in. If you're already with Flowdesk, should you stay? I'm going to say yes if you love really beautiful, simple emails or if you don't want to tinker with too much tech. So one thing that you need to keep in mind with Flowdesk is that it doesn't connect natively to a lot of other platforms. So if you, if that works for you, if you're just using it for email marketing, then that's great. But if you think you're going to need it to connect to other sales platforms like Kajabi or Thrivecart or something like that, then you may want to bring that into the consideration when you're deciding whether or not you're going to stay or switch to Flowdesk. Should you think about switching to Flowdesk? If you think that your email list is going to grow a lot very quickly, then you might want to consider it just because now is the time that you can get locked in on that unlimited plan. And from what I've seen, and especially in the platforms that I use the most, there aren't too many platforms out there who still have an unlimited subscriber plan most of them have moved to a tiered plan. And I understand it. I mean, the more subscribers that they're keeping on servers and this and that, like it becomes very expensive to run an email marketing service. So I understand. But when you're just starting out as a small creator, of course, it you have to keep costs in mind. So if you think your email list is going to grow, if you think you're not going to need a whole lot of extra tech features um, built into it, then I think Flowdesk is a great option. And Definitely one that you should consider switching into if you are looking to make a switch from a different platform. Now let's talk about what's going on with Kit. The good news is Kit does still have a free plan. I've seen some speculation and some chatter online about Kit got, did away with their free plan. They did not. There is still a 10,000 uh, subscriber free plan, but it's very limited in what you can do in that free plan. Basically you can send unlimited broadcasts, but you are limited to one email sequence and one automation, which means if you have multiple freebies or, or anything like that, then you are kind of limited with how you can automatically nurture subscribers after they sign up to that. They did, however, get rid of their, I think it was called the starter plan. I'm not entirely sure about that. This was the one that I believe had 300 subscriber limit, but you got access to all of the features of ConvertKit. Uh, kit. And I don't recall exactly how much this one cost per month. I want to say it was in the $15 range. This is the plan that they've eliminated. So everybody who was on that plan is being bumped up to the creator plan, which is now $39 a month. And that one is for up to a thousand subscribers and has unlimited features. Like you get access to everything that's not in the pro plan. So this change understandably is shaking quite a few creators because you, you know, maybe you're just starting out and you had a very small list under 300 subscribers and you were on this plan that let you build out all of your automations and things. 
and you're growing your list, but now all of a sudden you're bumped up to this higher level plan. That's a little, that can be a little bit jarring if you're just starting out and don't have a lot of income yet. And your two options for staying with Kit are to pay more and go to the creator plan or to bump down to the free plan and possibly lose automations and definitely lose access to features. So whether or not you decide to stay with Kit through this change will really just kind of depend on your future plans because Kit is one of the best email marketing platforms if you're planning to scale your business a lot. If you plan to keep your business on the smaller side and don't plan to scale, I'm talking to tens of thousands of subscribers or hundreds of thousands of subscribers because some of us don't have that dream. Uh, if you don't plan to do that, then it may be time to consider a different email marketing tool, but I would consider weighing the options between how long and how much time, how much time is it gonna take to recreate everything in a new platform versus paying the lower the new price for the lowest tier that they offer. I will throw in that one perk of switching to ConvertKit is that they offer a free migration service if you are on a paid plan for 5,000 subscribers or higher. So that's definitely something that they offer, which is a great kind of stress-free way to get moved over. You don't have to take your own time uh, out to do it. So that's something to consider if you're looking at moving over to Kit. So who should stay with Kit? I'm gonna say creators who want tagging and advanced automations, along with the flexibility to really scale your business and your email marketing. And you may consider a switch if you are getting bumped up into that $39 a month price range, but you aren't bringing in enough income to justify that rate. That said, if you have a business plan that you know you're going to increase your income to where the $39 a month wouldn't be no problem, I would stick with it because you don't want to leave for a less expensive email platform that can't ultimately grow with you if you know you have those plans to grow your business to the point where you're going to need a platform like Kit. Kit does integrate with a lot of other platforms and most of the time if it's a native integration, it's very seamless. It integrates perfectly with Kajabi with Thrivecart, with Teachable, with Squarespace. Squarespace purchases, I'll say not, not to forms. <laughs> There's so many options out there. So if you're using any other tools that you want to connect your email marketing service with, and that's a very important thing for you, then I would definitely keep Kit on the table. And just because I would not be an online business person if I didn't say this, I do have an affiliate link for Kit as well, and it will be in the description if you are looking at switching over there. <laughs> and then of course we have MailerLite, who is just kind of chilling over there. I haven't heard of any big changes, but I wanted to, that they're making right now but I wanted to throw them in because they're also a very viable option for email marketing if you're kind of torn and slow disk or kit don't really fit what you need then I would check out MailerLite. They do have a free plan it is good for up to 500 subscribers and you can send out 12,000 emails a month on this plan. It does come with email automations and forms and all of the other things that you need to have do email marketing. <laughs> so it's a great option if you still have a very small list. The automations and email templates inside of MailerLite are pretty simple to use. So it's great if you're just kind of also getting started and don't want a lot of tech involved with creating your emails. It sits basically right in between ConvertKit. It will never be Kit. I'm sorry. <laughs> it sits kind of right in between Kit and Flowdesk in terms of functionality and design. The emails aren't quite as pretty as they are in Flowdesk and it's not quite as creator centric as Kit, but it is still a really good kind of middle ground option for you. So listen, if you're thinking of switching email platforms, no matter where you're switching from or who you're switching to, but the word migration kind of makes you feel feelings you don't want to feel, this is literally what I help people out with. I can move your subscribers, rebuild your emails, rebuild your automations and your templates and make sure everything is working for you and that the process is as seamless as possible. There is a link in the description if you want to chat about how I can help you handle this switch. Because the truth is there isn't one best platform for anybody out there. It's really just about what fits the stage of business that you're in and also where you want to go to a point because you don't want to have to switch every couple of years just because you've hit another milestone and now you want to move to this one. There's nothing wrong with that but don't create the headache for yourself. But the breakdown is Flowdesk is very beautiful and simple. Kit is very powerful and scalable and MailerLite is very affordable and balanced. It's almost like a smack in the middle of the other two. So instead of stressing about which one is the perfect one for you, think about which one you're gonna be more likely to use consistently because that's really all that matters. All right, friend, now you know what's changing and where each tool fits in. If you are ready to lock in Flowdesk, be sure to grab my link below for 50% off your first year to lock in those unlimited subscribers. And if you're leaning towards any of them, towards a switch, any switch, I'd love to help. And if you just wanna see how I actually set up these emails and automations, make sure you're subscribed because I've got tutorials coming on all three.
and I will see you there. Bye.